We have with us the biggest steel companies in the United States. They used to be a lot bigger, uh, but they're going to be a lot bigger again. And we have the big aluminum companies in the United States. And they've been very unfairly treated by bad policy, by bad trade deals, by other countries. They've been horribly treated by other countries. And they have not been properly represented. More importantly, because of that, our workers in our country have not been properly represented. So we're going to build our steel industry back, and we're going to build our aluminum industry back. We'll be in imposing tariffs on steel imports and tariffs on aluminum imports. And you're going to see a lot of good things happen. You're going to see expansions of the companies. I know that, uh, David, you said you'd be expanding. Uh, Tim, I know you said you were expanding. You're Absolutely. all, pretty much all of, of you will immediately be expanding if we give you that level playing field, if we give you that help. What size are the tariffs, sir? Thanks, guys. How long do you think you have to make your next part of Unlimited period. Unlimited. Is it 25%, sir? It'll be 25% for steel. It'll be 10% for aluminum. And it'll be for a long period of time. The President announced uh, at the meeting a little while ago punitive tariffs on steel and aluminum imports that would take effect next week. 10% for aluminum, 25% for steel. He announced them even though the fine details have not been worked out yet about what countries will be involved, whether there are any exemptions. Uh, the Dow's down about 500 points as a result of this. Uh, some of our allies, including Canada, are saying that these actions are unacceptable. Why did the President announce them now? Uh, particularly before the, the, the details have even been worked out. Uh, the President's announcing his intent to uh, sign those actions next week. Um, we're not going to get into any more details until those fi those details are finalized, but that is what he intends to do next week, and he was making that announcement. Is he concerned about the results or the effects that his announcement has had so far? The President's concerned about the men and women of this country who have been forgotten about, the industries that our country was founded and built on. On. And uh, this shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. This is something, frankly, the president's been talking about for decades, uh, certainly something he talked about regularly on the campaign trail and something that he's delivering on, uh, making that clear today. And those uh, details and that actual announcement and signing will take place sometime next week. Sarah. Margaret. Sarah, uh, was the president often talks about stock market reaction to his presidency. Is he surprised to see the market down? after I'm making this announcement without explanation on tariffs. Um, and uh, do you have any detail on why he decided to announce it today? As John was asking you, it seemed kind of sudden when we were called in for that event. It wasn't something on our uh, necessarily public schedule. Uh, this is something, again, that the President has been talking about uh, for a long time. It's not a surprise, um, and we're going to continue doing what we can to protect American workers. That was something that the President committed to during the campaign. This is something that he feels is vitally important. Uh, yeah, that part is new, um, and he's announcing his intent uh, to make those uh, things happen next week, and we'll have more details on that. Did he make that decision today? Uh, again, this is something the president's wanted to do for so, quite some well, time. I'm surprised to, you know, the press gathered there. Well, I, it I, wasn't on the schedule. I, I don't think that uh, the president always tells you guys everything first, but it's certainly something he's well, been talking about for a long time. Some at the White House because there were uh, look, these competing these, events. Uh, these are conversations that the president has been having for a long time. Uh, he's made his intentions very clear to the team at the White House uh, and. It, I don't think it came as a surprise to anybody here. Can you say 10 and 25 are set, or could that change between now and next week? Uh, I think that's the intent, um, but until those details are finalized, I'm not going to get into any more specifics right now. So. Uh, Republican Senator Ben Sass put out a statement in regards to these new tariffs. He said that the president is proposing a massive tax increase on American families. Protectionism is weak, not strong. And he concluded by uh, writing, you'd expect a policy this bad from a leftist administration, not a supposedly Republican one. Do you have a comment on that? I, I don't know that the president uh, will or should ever apologize for protecting American workers, and certainly uh, not to Senator Sass. But Thank you, Sarah. Let me try to drill down on this. You say you won't be getting into details at this point. So if there are details to get into, should we read into it that there will be exemptions for certain countries? 
Uh, again, I'm not going to get ahead of the final details that will be put out next week. Um, at this point, there's no, no additional information to share as this is all being finalized. Has the president made up in his mind which countries he, is, he might exempt or at least is considering? Uh, again, I'm not going to get into any details on this front, um, and I don't have anything further to add on his intentions that will take place next week.